Hi guys, uh, this video will show you uh, to create the search text box for this form. This is our main form where the records are pulled from this TBL underscore records table. And this is a single table, it's not related to any other table. So just to show you an example how to put a search uh, in a text box. So that's fine. And if you see this text as text as, of course I understand that this is not, not a normalized database. But just for an example, so this is our main form. We have customer ID, customer name, uh, state, and country are mentioned. So now we'll go to create a text box based on which uh, we'll create a search. So let's name it search state. Right click go to properties or just press F4 to open the properties. And now we'll go to create an event on after update event for this text box. Okay, let's rename then the text box so it will be easier to reference this text box later in the coding. So txt state. go back again to uh, the coding window so this is the event after update event uh, this is the text the code which I already prepared so here you can see if uh, I place a condition if txt search TXT state, TXT state is not equals to null, then what need to be done? The later three lines will be executed. So if you enter any text, then these lines will be executed. So here, QRY underscore state, you can put any name for this uh, query equals to select select from TBL records where state equals to single comma. So remember that whenever you are uh, searching a text string, you need to put single comma and closed in a single comma. Ampersand sign, then txt state. Ampersand sign again to close the query. V dot record source equals to query, uh, whatever query name you have mentioned. So as we have mentioned, query state. Now me, I have mentioned because whenever remember whenever you are referring to any control which is based on the form itself, you can put me dot record source. Well, while you are referring to the form itself, if you are referring to any other form, then of course you can put uh, the complete name of the form itself. So me dot records or equals to qry state, which is above query. Then me dot refresh, which will fetch, uh, which will refresh the form and fetch the new records. So let's go. How uh, let's see how it behaves in the real time. So here we have all the records, we we'll type Texas for example, press tab button and here two records are Texas. Let's put another, any other state name, Toronto, okay, so Toronto. Now remove all this complete text, press enter or tab, so all the records are shown now. So let's see when you are you have to move to which code uh, has worked out. Now see the condition. If the text box text box is having something, some text. So it will go to if the text box is not having any text, then it will go to else part. Me dot record source select cell from TBL records, which means select all the records. Me dot refresh. So the form is refreshed. Now in the same way you can create uh, multiple text boxes. You can create for name, you can put for country as well. So same like uh, you can create the same code just you need to uh, change the field name in the, the query which we have built up there. Adding a new text box and then change the, change the text box name in the coding. So by that way you can create a search on the forms. 
you can create for multiple fields of course so this was this video was using text box in the next video we'll be using combo box to create a search on a form that's all for this video uh, let me know your comments if you have any inquiry let me know thanks a lot